What's good, superstars? Back with another video. You got Superstar Rob and you got Superstar, you guys. How you doing? Got the whole Superstar. Ah, 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 I'm seeing stars out there. Ah, got the whole Superstar nation just knocking me out. Sometimes I wish Joe was back. It's a little bit of a lighter punch, but uh, you guys definitely pack a punch, especially in those comments, right? Guys, if you haven't already, don't forget, hit the subscribe button, become a superstar, join the superstar fam, hit the bell notification buttons, get every single video, every single day we got going, but the streak continuing. Superstar VIP, thank you so much to our VIPs. Get our cool stars beside your name. Uh, big flex in the comments for those who've been with us for a long time. Thank you all so much. Uh, get access to our spreadsheets, uh, drop spreadsheet, market floor sweeping spreadsheet, uh, <clears throat> market cap analysis spreadsheet. Our buys and sells, um, you know, we'll advertise for you again. I'm waiting for somebody to tell us uh, to advertise. We'd love to do that. Uh, we had someone today seeing, uh, I think Joe was trying to sell something in the market and they and they sent a, uh, a tweet saying, hey, lower the price and uh, we'll do the sale. And he did it. So <clears throat> if you want it the other way around, we'll advertise for you. It works, right? So let us know. Uh, you can reach us on Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok. We always want to talk. Okay, It's not just in YouTube comments, although we love those too. You can reach us in our DMs, and uh, we can have a chat anytime. And again, thank you to all our members. Uh, we love you so much. We appreciate your support. Uh, thank you. It's been it's so great. It's so amazing to have uh, such an amazing community that's sticking with us, sticking with us through <clears throat> all this time, uh, despite everything that's going on in the market right now. Uh, you guys know how to keep it real and uh, and to support us. So. Let's get into the Twitter news. Uh, Ed, Ed's back at it. <clears throat> he does it every time. You know he's going to come up with something funny every single day. Little Ant-Man, he says, honey, I shrunk the kids. And then you got the stomp one right there. I'm actually not sure which collectible that is. If you guys know, let me know. I'm actually not sure which one that is. So tell me. I'm sure it's somewhere in these comments right now, but <clears throat> I didn't go through it. I just enjoyed the art. Uh, Michael Campa, big thanks to at VV Magic for mentioning this amazing coin collection for the 100th Disney anniversary. <clears throat> at VV official when coins. Look at this. They are very cool. I like these. These are very, very nice. Wow. These are mint. No pun intended. Fantastic. Um, <clears throat> Double Quill. Big shout out to Double Quill. X-Men number one, anyone? What do you think? Uh, Marvel Entertainment, I guess they put some some stuff out with uh, Marvel Unlimited about uh, X-Men Uncanny. Uh, so if you, I actually checked this one out. They just gave a little bit of a synopsis. So if you want to check it out, take a look. Um, this is funny. Uh, we don't talk about Bruno. This actually is baby Jada's favorite song. We don't talk about Bruno and Canto. Great movie. If you haven't already seen it, I'm very interested in this one. I, I'm, I'm the collectible should be pretty realistic. If you think about it, because it's very animated already, right? Like it's not that hard. If you think about it, it's already an animated thing. It's not like you're replicating a human person. You're replicating an animated film. So I'm hoping that we get very realistic, almost a perfect match. And based on the photo that I'm seeing here, it does look like it's going to be very, very realistic. So let's see what kind of Encanto, uh, you know, uh, collectibles we're going to get. Are they going to be animated? Is it going to be another form of interactive? Um, so there, I don't think the medium's out, <clears throat> the medium article's out for this yet, but we'll circle back tomorrow. Uh, from Superstar Money, uh, a self-tweet, Rob is the best for holding it down the last few days. Trying to make the Twitter news. Joe made the Twitter news, but he doesn't have to do that. Thank you, Joe, for the kind wishes. Uh, I will hold it down as, as much as possible, uh, even though everybody wants you back as soon as possible. So, again, uh, thanks, Joe, for that. And, yes, we are thinking about Joe in this time. That he needs a break, guys. Okay, He needs a break. He's been holding it down for a long time. We can, we can carry this. We can carry this. Uh, Ed, again, very, very nice. I mean, getting the hype going right here. Uh, great, great little edit he got. Uh, VV Collectors at Heart. I mean, Logan Paul, you got the Lamborghini. You're just flexing so hard here. Uh, so thanks for that, Ed, always keeping us entertained. And uh, we wish. We know he's involved. We know he's involved. Maybe he's watching. I don't know. I mean, he's, he's a YouTube guy, isn't he? So we'll see. Um, and then uh, Mentalysis, uh, Mr. Bob Sales, let me introduce you to the owner of something you've been looking for at Michael Campa. He's waiting in your DM making connections. So, yeah, Michael Campa is a great guy. He was actually on our channel for a live, and he gave away a real Todd. Amazing guy, Michael Campa. Uh, so, <clears throat> guys, make sure you follow him on Twitter. I think he was supposed to start a YouTube channel. I don't know if he ever did any videos. He was going to try to entertain, uh, maybe have a, an audience more for, like, the Spanish speaking. Um, but he ended up, I think, not doing it yet, or if he still has a plan. But, Michael Campa, if you're watching, let us know below. Uh, and, and, again, a good friend of ours. Uh, back to Vivi here. 
VV merge accounts. <clears throat> I haven't done it yet. I know a lot of people have done it successfully. So I, I've read the article. It looks pretty easy. It's just a matter of going on that account, putting in the account that you want to transfer to, and then they, they do the work for you. So uh, make sure you guys document everything because you never know if you merge the account, something might be missing. So if you, if you have everything documented, nothing can go wrong. Uh, I love the videos being done over here. Uh, so definitely, definitely fantastic. Watch it if you need to want to learn a little bit more about Tales of Suspense number 94. Um, <clears throat> Perseverance of Nor uh, Modoc. Uh, and of course, Corey does a really good job there. So check it out. Um, in Canto, we just talked about, there's a closer look here um, at the, the ultra rare and rare covers. Look at this one. Now that's what I'm talking about. They know, they know. They're just going to throw some pink everywhere now. So they know. Um, and then one for one. Uh, X-Men number one, a number, it's a one for one art. I'm, I honestly haven't tracked this at all. If anybody watching has tracked um, anything to do with one for ones, uh, let us know below on, on what kind of market this is. Like, are they selling for like $1,500 still? Or are they selling for less? I'm curious. Let me know. I want to point something out here. Uh, Matthew Lambie, you know, he likes us, but a harsh criticism of our lack of preparation for our videos. But hey, man, this is our style. We come on here. We give you our thoughts. We don't do too much research, really, if you think about it. We just want to give you our opinion. We're just two dudes on the internet, right? So Matthew Lambie says he's going to do the work for us this time. See, this is the support we need from Superstar Nation. We have a new comic book consultant in the house, Superstar Matthew Lambie. Modoc is a childish goofball who thinks himself to be better than he actually is. Over the years, he has also done horrific stuff in the comics. He has misplaced confidence when he hasn't earned it. So he has a cult following of being so bad, he is actually good. We have all met a few Modocs in real life. The issue dropping this week is first his first full appearance from 1967 and the simpler time shows in the creation of villains like him. So superstar Matthew Lanvey, thank you because now I finally know something about the comic. Thank you so much. Okay, so um, – yeah, and then one thing I want to know, by the way, though, is Tales of Suspense number 94. It is a tier C, okay? Tier C right now, <clears throat> that is uh, not very good uh, for comics, but, you know, if you're into it, you can pick it up. Maybe get uh, something for MCP points if you're into that, and, and, we'll, and you know, you, you can, if it ever calculates for you, uh, like like for me, it took forever, but, you know, we're an alpha, it just got taken away from me. I'm not complaining. It, it, I know they're working on it, but uh, it, could, it could be value added to the MCP points. But with a tier C, I am not expecting a $1 comic. Okay. So I'll park that to the side. Today's topic, I wanted to talk about this. It was on my mind for a long time. And I just wanted to put it out there to see what everybody else thinks about when it comes to NFT memberships. Okay. Like what is the bigger plan here with like subscription-based services? Like the whole world has slowly moved to like subscription-based services. So that's the equivalent of like an NFT membership. So what's the big picture here? Is it possible? that all these NFTs, Disney NFTs, all these licensors may eventually connect an NFT membership in the future to either VV NFTs, in which case they're going to make VV, like they're going to bring it to a whole new level, or they're going to break off and do their own NFT memberships and just kind of leave VV behind, in which case they'll break VV. And at that point, we have to really consider what will actually be valuable at that point. So I wanted to just use an example here. Let me just pull this back up. So <clears throat> here's an example of an NFT membership. It's actually the simplest thing. Basically anyone, right? It, 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 it could be anyone. You, you can do it yourself. If you have some kind of thing to offer um, online, in this case, this is like a, a, like a podcast, right? Like a, if you make a podcast and you have fans that want to listen to your podcast, it is possible that you can set things up with smart contracts where you have to connect a wallet as proof uh, that you are an owner of a, of a certain NFT. And then that will then allow you to get access to whatever they're offering. So in this case, it's specific to podcasts. And we can see that maybe in the future uh, and the near future with the VV verse, I can see this happening kind of all internally, right? If you have a certain NFT in the system in the VV verse, you, because your wallet's connected, they know that your username has that NFT and then it will allow you access to certain parts of the VVverse. I think we're going there no matter what. At least on the VVverse level, I just can't see them not doing that on the VVverse. So if there's a Star Wars land, they may say, well, there's different. Here's Star Wars land. If you come in for free, here's a bunch of doors. 
And in order for you to get in, you have to connect your VV wallet. In this case, it's on Immutable X, so you have the code. Connect the wallet, and then you walk in, right? Now, we don't have our private keys, so it's going to be all done in some kind of internal system. There's no MetaMask or anything like that. Not really sure how it's going to work in the VVverse, but the, the concept of gaining access to wor worlds in the VVverse is very possible with these licensors. It's also possible with independent creations. Like we were talking about a superstar money world. Who knows? Maybe we have superstar money NFTs that if you own them, you get access to that universe. It's just an idea. It's the same concept. And maybe in the future, big companies like Disney, big companies like DC, maybe they will have the same kind of thing through either Vivi or an outside project. And I, and I think that I'm going to start off with if it's through an outside project. So let's just say, for example, Disney decides to come up with their own NFT collection, completely separate from VV, and it's on a Polygon. Now they're going to start offering all sorts of different access to different types of entertainment. you got to connect your wallet to go watch that movie. you got to connect your wallet to go play that game. It, I mean, it could be anything. I'm sure they can come up with a million and one things that you have to connect your wallet to access, even at the parks. Maybe in order to open a door at the park, you, there's some kind of you know digital screen that you have to connect your wallet in order to get in. I don't know how it's going to work because the private keys and everything in that kind of context. But at least when it comes to MetaMask on your you know on your computer, you're trying to gain some kind of access to something uh, online. It's very easy to to understand that you connect your wallet, it reads the blockchain, and it lets you gain access to that utility. In that situation, would people really care any more about VV NFTs? Unfortunately. At that point, it's just the historical value that will matter. Because um, <clears throat> as of right now, there's no gamification. As of right now, there's no other utility. So if, if Disney, DC, or any other licensor, you know, like the Illazillas, right? If any other licensor just comes up with their own NFT collection, they try to get their own utility, and you got to use their NFTs for that utility, and it gets to a point that to access that utility, you have to connect a wallet. Because, you know, our wallets, we can't really use them on Vivi, Right. I think that could be a big, big problem for VV long-term. Now, on the flip side, because we don't know what's going to happen, right? But on the flip side, what if these licensors are planning to do this with VV in mind? It's, a it's already a natural thing for Disney, for example, who has all of these NFTs made for, for them. They're going to exist for a long time. What better way than to allow uh, VV you know, through Immutable X or, or, or whatever, what if they allow VV to have interoperability uh, so that somebody could have the option to do this? Or maybe it's as simple of, as, as um, they, they're going to have to come up with some kind of verification system, but maybe it's possible to connect to the VV wallet or we have to make our own and VV will transfer some kind of like maybe ghost token or something that we can then do for, for Disney. Pure speculation, okay? The, the, the way they can get around it, I don't know how, but I believe it is possible if Disney, for example, wants to provide utility and still allow VV NFTs to be considered. So in the short term, you have the VVverse where you're going to see NFT memberships galore, and that's going to gain value. Okay, that's going to help NFTs guaranteed. There's going to be some kind of value gained when there's some kind of gamified environment like the VVverse where you only get access if you have certain things. But where it really takes it to a whole other level is when, let's say, a big company like Disney then has their own utility outside of VV, crazy things that the whole world wants advantage, takes advantage of, and now you're able to connect these NFTs in order to gain access. We don't know which way it's going to go. And I would, I would love to crowdsource this opinion in the comments. Do you think that in the future... Because we know Disney's going to eventually do it, right? So when Disney starts getting their own digital collectibles, breaking away from VV, do you think that they would ever allow VV collectibles to gain any kind of access to whatever NFT memberships they're going to have in the future? Do you think that's likely? Or do you think it's more likely that, at, that these companies will break off and make their own memberships and just leave Disney behind? Or sorry, leave VV behind and all of our, our NFTs on VV are only going to be for the VV environment. Uh, and then maybe, you know, we can we can bring them into other metaverses for visual aspects. But that utility through the company can only be done with buying the exact same thing over there. 
I think it's an important question to have to ask ourselves because it kind of changes your strategy. Like if you're thinking long term with these NFTs, it forces you if you believe that the utility is limited to ever have an N NFT membership, for example, um, outside of Eevee, then you're really only buying these for historical value. And that's it. Like there's really no other value. I mean, sure, you can come up with a VB verse, but then the utility given from the company directly will probably outpace any value you'll ever get in the VB verse. So that point, maybe you should be buying Todd, you know, you know, these like partners, like just old statues that were the firsts that in the future are going to be worth something because they were the first. And, and maybe all these things that we're buying that are maybe interactive, that are animated, uh, maybe we're buying them because we think that they're going to be useful in the VV verse. You know, maybe those things don't matter as much and we should be focusing our limited funds to those things only. If you have limited funds, I, we've met some whales out there, right? Who are just going to buy everything and hopefully something sticks. Um, but if you do believe that these companies and these, these licensors in the future will allow VV to, to count and VV NFTs to count, even though it's in a kind of a wallet that we have zero control over, we have no private keys, nothing. I don't even know how to, we would be able to connect them. Right. But if somehow they make that work, then all of a sudden it's okay to start owning some of these things because you don't know which are going to be the ones that are going to get you access. So it's almost like the more that you own, you're giving yourself better chance at gaining some kind of future utility access from these private companies. I'm probably more of the opinion that probably what will happen is that companies like Disney will not, uh, at first at least, allow any NFTs from other companies like Vivi, even though they are Disney licensed, right? They probably won't be associated. Just the logistics of, logistics of it, I think, are just not going to work. You know, you had David, you saying that with utility, a lot of the times they need to make sure that they say that, you know, the utility is, is in advance before people buy it. It's harder to add it later down the line, but that doesn't mean they can't change their mind. And that doesn't mean that they can't do it. I've also wondered, is it possible that, you know, maybe NFTs in general, like some kind of, let's say Disney VV verse world that's created. It's possible that you might do a subscription service, even within that kind of world for some group of NFTs that you can only own while you pay that subscription every month. Like that's another thing that could happen as well where you kind of are paying for a company for the subscription rather than actually owning the collectible itself. But that's a topic for another time. It's just these NFT memberships, it truly is going to change the game when it comes to subscription-based services and how we're going to gain access. Can you imagine if Netflix had this right now? Netflix is going nuts right now over, uh, over trying to lock down on people who are sharing accounts. I think people will think twice before sharing their private keys to their wallets. It's a little bit different than sharing their password directly to Netflix directly. So guys, let me, let me know your thoughts below. I'm actually very interested to hear what your thoughts are. I mean, it's a little bit of a different topic. It's not a revolutionary topic. It's, it's out there about NFT memberships. We kind of talk about it a little bit, um, but I've never really heard like a direct conversation about NFT memberships right now in the VVverse, I think is going to happen pretty soon. I mean, I shouldn't have, yeah, hashtag soon, but you know what I mean? If the Vverse does come out, access, that kind of idea will happen uh, immediately when it comes out eventually. Um, and then in terms of like how licensors are going to deal with it, I would just love to know your thoughts. Are Do you really believe that licensors are going to allow VV NFTs to gain access to whatever NFT memberships they have? Or do you think that it's unlikely and they will probably just be broken off just like the, the Lazellas there, right? With that whole topic that came up. So guys, if you haven't already... Don't forget, become a superstar, smash the subscribe button, join the superstar fam, hit the bell notification button so you get every single video, every single day. We have it coming at you and we will be here for you. Thank you to all our superstar VIPs, $2.99 a month. Get the star beside your name, get access to our spreadsheets, advertisement. Guys, thank you all so, so, so much for your support. We appreciate you. Take care and we'll see you on the next one.